Welcome to the Armani Talks podcast. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this podcast, I'm helping you level up your five soft skills, public speaking, storytelling, social dynamics, emotional intelligence, and creativity. Five soft skills for you to change your life forever, skyrocket your confidence along the way. In today's episode, we're going to keep it pretty general, and we're going to be talking about the battle between hotels and Airbnbs. You may be thinking, well, Armani, this entire podcast, it's about communication skills. So why the hell are you talking about Airbnbs and hotels for? The reason why is because whenever we're communicating with people, what we're really doing is we're understanding their experiences and we're using our words to tap into those experiences. The better that we understand the human experience, the better that we can communicate because we can empathize with them. I've come to realize that for a long time, I thought I was going to like Airbnbs more than hotels. The reason why is because I'm a big fan of disruption, especially the type of disruption that makes my life easier. One of the examples is Ubers versus taxis. I don't use taxis. I can't even tell you how to get a taxi in Florida. But Ubers, I can definitely use those because all I need is my phone. With that logic of disruption being great, I started to think I should like Airbnbs more than hotels because anytime I want, I can rent out someone's spot and just like that, I have a place to stay. But as years have gone on by, and I have delved into Airbnbs and hotels, I would say that I like hotels more. I just came from one recently. Why? I believe the reason why is because there are human beings that are risky in certain fields, and they're stable in other fields. If I'm traveling, I would say I'm very risky in the type of things I want to do. Sometimes I want to be indoors, Sometimes I want to be outdoors in terms of the activities. So I'm risky with that. But where I'm going to stay, I am safe. I am old man safe. I don't want to take any risks at all. And I believe with Airbnb, there's a little too much risk at times. Sometimes you have no clue if this is going to be a good spot. Every now and then, though, you're surprised. You're like, wait a minute. I got this huge place for only $55 a night. Wow. And now you can go back to your friends and you could tell them that one of the highlights of your trip was the Airbnb. That's not going to happen with hotels. With hotels, things fall into the back burner. No one comes back from their trip and says, oh my God, guys, you won't believe the hotel that I stayed in. Most likely, then your trip wasn't that poppin'. The reason that a lot of individuals still prefer hotels, I'm not the only one, is because when they're traveling, they don't want to be risky with where they're going to stay. They want a sure uh, plan that this is going to be an area where I can sleep, where I will get stable Wi-Fi, and where I will get room service. All that Airbnb stuff, I'll let the risky people handle that. And I believe The more that I try to break down why some people prefer Airbnbs, why some people prefer hotels, I got to understand the human psychology on a much deeper level. Ever since that I made this recent trip, I saw it. I saw that a lot of the people in the hotels, you could tell, they just want to keep it safe. They realize, all right, I'm spending a little bit more money, but it is what it is. I don't want a potential host of an Airbnb walking in and being like, hey, I'm staying with you too, you know. That was part of the deal. I just want stability. Understand that certain people are very risky in certain parts of their life. And that same group of people who are risky in a certain part of their life are very safe in another part. For me, I'm very risky in where I travel to, but I'm very safe in where I stay. I want to make sure that I am sleeping well and I am in utter peace. And if you can understand that, you will see why Airbnbs have not wiped out hotels as of yet. Uh, Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks podcast, and I'll catch you next time.